Hello, here we have another example app using reactive values. What we have is um, three buttons here. If I click on button one, it says button one selected. If I click on button two, it says button two selected. And similarly for button three, it says button three selected. It sounds very simple, but uh, this logic can be used in uh, different apps. Um, uh, instead of just printing which button is selected here, uh, you can have uh, you know different kinds of uh, 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 different types of tasks uh, to be performed uh, on on the uh, button click triggering event. Uh, say plotting a graph, uh, it may be a ggplot graph, a histogram, or uh, you know whatever action you want to be done uh, on the click of this button. Now let's start with uh, reviewing the underlining concepts. So first, action button maintains a state. It's a value. The state changes when a user clicks the button. When not clicked, the value is zero. And when it, it is clicked, it, it, it is a positive integer. The second is uh, to set the state for buttons as zero except for the button which is clicked. So we have got three buttons. Whenever we click on any of these buttons, we just want that particular uh, action button state to be a positive integer and rest to be zero. It's very important. Otherwise, imagine if you click um, action button one and three, uh, both will have positive states and may not give you the desired result. If we want uh, a specific task to be performed, uh, on the click of um, action button one, the rest of the buttons um, should be set as, uh, their state should be set as zero. Obviously, perform the action associated when um, any of the button is clicked. So clicking of button is a triggering e e event and whatever we want to perform uh, uh, based on uh, the click of that particular button. We'll use reactive values function to play around the state of action button. This may not be clear now, but when we review the code, it will be, um, you know, clear. Let's have a look over the code. So in the UI.R, we have got a simple fluid page with the message, and we've got three action buttons here: button you know, dos trace, and then we are displaying the text message with the text output. Okay, moving to the server dot R. Uh, we have the reactive value function here and we are creating an object values. We have got our reactive values or simply we can call them as reactive variables. We've got one of them uh, uno uh, initialized as zero, dos and trace as well initialized as zero. So what we are going to do is the idea is we are going to use uh, the first variable uno for button one will play will change the values to maintain the state of the uh, uh, but button one dos is the variable which will go along with uh, button two to maintain to play around with its state and trace is um, the variable which we are going to uh, uh, work out with button three to maintain its state Scrolling down, uh, we have got uh, three observe event functions. The first one is for button one. So it will look for the uh, action button click event. Okay, if button one is clicked, what we want? We want the, the reactive variable uno to be set as one and rest of the variables, which is dos and trace, which are for uh, button two and button three respectively to be set as zero. Why we are doing this is because later on we'll see the code that we will use this condition that if the reactive variable uno is one, that means obviously the uh, button one is selected and perform uh, a task, which is print that button one is selected. Similarly, we have observe event function for uh, the second button where we are um, setting the value, the reactive variable DOS as one, 
and the other two as zero and we'll be use, using the if condition they are checking if it is uh, one then uh, you know print a button to select it then we have observe event three uh, the third observe event similarly for uh, the third reactive variable and third button uh, values do dollar tres is one uh, for the display we are using the render text statement uh, for sorry function and we check in if values dollar uno if it is one then print uh, uh, button one selected else if values dollar dos which is second directive vari variable is one um, print uh, button two selected and similarly if the third reactive variable is one then print um, button third selected.